Hey everyone, welcome back to Fatal Frame 4. We are not gonna play as Misaki anymore, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think like her story is done now as a playable character. She remembered who her important person was. We know how everything came together for her. Now we just, I think, have Duka and Kirishima left. Only four more chapters to go in the game, so we're really like in the end game now. The last couple bits are gonna fall into place and I can't wait to show you guys. So without further ado, let's jump into the game and see who we're playing as. Okay, so we're gonna start chapter nine, I think. The Tsukimori song. I think we're playing as Ruka, yeah. Ruka finds a music box playing a melody that raises memories from when she was a young girl, spending time with her father Soya, a mask maker, and her mother Sayaka. But no matter how hard she tries, she cannot remember the father, her father's face. Before he returned to Ruka, her, he, before he turned to face Ruka, her father once made a kana. Wait, before he returned to Ruka, her father once made a kanade mask. Ruka was wearing the mask when she was found after the kidnapping. In her diary, Sayaka wrote about allegations that her husband Soya had been involved in a series of events that to use the girls in a secret ritual. Piano strikes a chord in Duka's memories, a fragment of a song at the edge of her recollection. She continues onward until she arrives at a place with a nostalgic aroma. Right, we were under... we ended up in the cave, didn't we? Yep. <laughs> Definitely looks like Kirishima. God, it's so cool. It's giving me goosebumps. The sounds are so cool. Ceremony of Passage. So he just showed up and gave us a mask fragment. I was brought here from somewhere else along a dark path. Are we gonna check in the back? Is the door opening? Oh, someone's banging on the door! The sounds are so cool! I can tell I miss playing this. <laughs> oh, you guys are so fucked! Hell yeah. <laughs> Do I have the zero lens? I don't. Oh, whoops. I slipped. I didn't mean to do that. Well. Oh. What was he doing? Oh. Oh! Woo! Caught that just in time. Oh, I, it's been, so my sister visited, like I mentioned last episode, probably, I think, because it was a big deal. Um, so it's been over a week since I played and now I'm finally like back. I had an awesome week, but I'm so glad to be back playing this game. <laughs> so excited. Oh. 
I was taken beyond this point. I wonder if we actually now also... Also, I have to check if I can upgrade. Yeah, we don't get the zero lens. What is this one, though? Um, consume all your spare power and deal a blow relative to the power consumed. That's a big one. We do have the chain for the dolls, so that's good. We have 57. Can get faster. Film reloading time. Then we can take pictures in quicker succession too. Oh, we're three crystals short for this one. Okay, let's let's save up a little bit. Let's find some crystals. Isn't life great? Isn't it awesome that we have a thing like video games? Only a small gap, but if I crawl, maybe I can get through. Should I try crawling? Go through? Yeah, <laughs> why not? What could go wrong? So creepy. Don't knock into anything. We won't be able to go back if the whole thing collapses. Okay, here we are. Big cave system. Holy shit. Do we have to run? No. We're good. It was just a... a, f a uh, I want to say fragrant, but that's not a word, is it? Fragment. That's it. Fragment of memory. Um, where do I go? <laughs> no idea. Okay. How about I go right? I don't really remember. I think it's left, but honestly, it could be that this is just a place to be. Ooh, nice. That goes around the corner. That's a dead end, but there might be an item at the end. Don't come any closer! Poor dude. Just die in this corner. Oh, Fisher's, Fisherman's Testament. The woman is coming. The woman saw everyone would bloom. If that woman saw, everyone would bloom. That woman. That woman, that woman. Came here to escape all this. The woman is coming. Face. Her face is not clear. So cool. Written in pure panic. Anything around here? Oh, it's a dead end. But maybe an item? Oh. Oh, that's the lady that we've been fighting with the torch. Uh. Um. Yeah, I think that's her, isn't it? Yeah, that is her. Should we try out the new filter? Took half her health with that. What did type Ze type seven film? Got you. Oh, fuck! I missed. I just hit the. I, hit, I slammed my thumb next to the A button. <laughs> Completely missed it. Nothing else here. Okay. Let's go back then. That switching film while in the camera is such a a nice change that they put in the game. And switching lenses too. 
whenever I go back to Fatal Frame 1, I adore that game to death, but it's always like, I have to go into the menu, change film, or I have to go into the menu to do this. It's definitely a lot slower. <gasps> 90 film! Oh, fuck yeah! A little bit of water. And a stream. Um, hmm. should I go up? I always forget how to get through here, but then at the same time I'm like... I want to get all the items, especially like that 90 film. That's stuff that you really don't want to miss. So I'm always like, okay, how do I... Which way do I go first? Oh, there's a little doll there! <laughs> cool. Wonder how many I've gotten actually. Doesn't it say 36? Oh, that's not that much. Wait. Is that a dead end? Oh, it is. Oh, there she is! Looking up. Oh, I did not want to see that face up close. There's nothing here. Let's check the other side. So many ways I can go. What is this? Oh, this goes deeper. I think- oh! Oh. It shows her just chasing everyone down. There's an item here somewhere. Oh. Where is it? Oh! There. Nice! 20 crystals! Oh, <gasps> Worth. Okay, let's see. I wanted to do capacity, right? Oh, uh, I do have 47 now. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, this is 70 actually. Increase the maximum spirit power. Yeah, let's do that. Cool, that one's done. I have 17 left, so I can't do anything with that. So... 20, 50, 70 are the next big ones. Increase the amount of spirit power absorbed. That is nice. It's so weird. When I was younger, I never used the lenses. Never. Just never used them properly. I think I just didn't really get how they worked. I just realized those statues are like covering their face because you're not supposed to look. That's cool. Okay, so... Oh, we can only go one way. Oh, oh god, go around her. Oh shit. Okay, I have to pay close attention because she can teleport in front of me. If she does that, I'll have to turn around real quick. And there she is! I knew it! I just have to stay alive for a little bit. Probably gonna teleport again. Please don't do it here. This is such a tight corridor. Okay. Ah! Oh, pure panic. Holy shit. I thought she was going away. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Oh, that was so close. Holy shit. I thought she was gonna go away and then she was just right in front of me in that tight ass corridor. Okay, I'm gonna have to try and make it. Or 
Where is she? I don't see her. Oh, thank God she's gone. Holy shit. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was so tense, that was really scary. <laughs> Uh. Noah gets the tunnel's ritual. Noah gets the island's... Noah gets the island is rife with tunnels. The vessel shall consort with the ghosts. The shrine maiden shall go forth and practice in that cave a hundred nights. Whether or not a miracle will be awarded is dependent on the practice of the shrine maidens. Secluded inside the womb, shielded from the moonlight, while maintaining the self, becoming empty. After passing through the death of life, they will be born again into this world. The training of the Dogetsu tunnels. It allows them to bring forth a miracle through courage and diligence. Only a person fit for a maiden of the moon shall pass the training of the Dogetsu tunnels. Oh, that is too close, dude. Let me just move here. There you are. Take a strong picture. Oh my god, he's almost dead. Ah! Holy shit, that counted. That was so close. Okay, dude. <laughs> I got you. Oh, thank god that that counted. Oh. What that? Red crystals. Thanks. Okay. Oh, I hear an item. Oh, I saw a flash of something. Note left by an islander. That's not just a mask. That mask is not from this world. That mask brought the disaster to this island. The day without suffering. Whether you live or die is determined by looking at that face. Hello. Okay. Let's move through the tunnels as we fight. Nice. Cool. This camera is getting pretty strong. I like it. Oh, I heard an item. Oh. Oh. Why can't I take your picture? Oh, because I'm going to fight you. I still can't take your picture, though. I can't even- oh, oh, I guess it's- I think it's glitched. I couldn't even change film. Now I can. Okay, there we go. Fixed. Ready. Take that. Take that! Nice. These ghosts are easy. It's only Sakuya that we have to be really scared of. <laughs> that one we can't fight, no. Oh shit. Don't come any closer. Can we make it? Oh god. I hope this is the right way. Still behind us. But I'm sure she's gonna teleport at some point. And no? Huh. I do want to check that little area that she was in though. Yeah, I knew there was something. It almost felt like there was something she didn't want me to see. 
I hope, just hope she doesn't come back. Oh, that scared me. Creepy. Please be 90 film, please be 90 film, please be 90 film. Or crystals. Oh! Oh, the zero lens! Yes! Oh my god, that's so worth it! Holy shit. Um, what's gonna go slow? Zero. Come to me, baby. I want that strong blast and power. Hell yeah. Is there anything on the other side? Probably. No? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Crystals. Crystals. Watch out for the hands. Crystals. But not the blue ones. I want that blue. Okay. So what about this statue? A Buddha-like statue with a hidden face. Ah, oh, yeah, they covered up the face. Oh, these stains look like people. I don't think I ever realized. Kind of creepy. Okay. Now we can move on. See, there's another stain. It really looks like a human. That must have been intentional. Oh, I knew it! What is it? Oh, no gets Kagura viewing record. I intend to conduct a test of the camera obscura when watching the no gets Kagura dance. Chaperoned by the Tsukimori Shrine Maiden. Dogetsu Kagura is the native Kagura dance and a major event for the island. The performance starts calmly, gradually becoming more erratic until reaching a frenzied climax. The extreme spiritual intoxication and excitement causes some participants to lose consciousness. It is per perpetrated that an illness called Luna Sedata services at the time of the festival. Luna Sedata is sometimes portrayed as possession by an evil spirit. Given the belief that souls attending the festival depart for a while, is this disease caused by the possibility that the souls that return are somehow different? Tsukimori Shrine Maidens have a history of being easily possessed, and I find it curious they participate. I asked about the Tsukimori Shrine Maiden tradition and found the answer truly interesting. It is said that people's soul are sound. This sound is called the lunar melody, and each person's melody differs. Lunar melody seems to represent that the individual person Strangely, if the person grows increasingly angry, their lunar melody becomes confused and tremors. If they are grieving or upset, it's l it lowers in pitch. Core melody is set to retain unchanged, remain unchanged. However, Luna Sedata syndrome disrupts the lunar melody, and if distorted sufficiently, it breaks. In any case, the superstition that humans are masses of sound is an attractive one. The Tsukimori Shrine Maidens prepare various kan kanade for the dance, and all with all all with a clear lunar melody. If they should contract Luna Sedata, it is not impossible to cure those affected. Treatment by prayer <coughs> Treatment by prayer is not uncommon, but it is invariably done without sound. <sighs> it seems that my sound is visible to the maiden. She said it sounds quite pleasant. Although they sometimes say strange things, all of the Tsukimori Shrine Maidens have contemporary merits, a rich intellect, a gentleness, and beauty. I would like to make the journey and attend. Oh, sorry about that. Those are some intense sneezes. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted at all. What was that thing on the side? Twenty red crystals. Let me see if I can upgrade the zero lens. Uh, 
You definitely can. Nice. Uh, should I do this one? Yeah, why not? Okay, that's it. Okay, now we can open the door. I think we're about to hit the part where the you you probably won't be able to hear it, but the we will go like just like one massive room, and it just loading this entire room takes so long. I don't know if I can hear it because my earphones are sound canceling, noise canceling. But it always happens for this room. I got kachaka, kachaka, kachaka. No, it's still quiet. Oops. It's like the Wii dances with the soundtrack of the game. I just remember because I'm always so worried that the Wii's just gonna break or something. Atten attention? Rogets Kagura attendees. Today at the Lunar Eclipse Hall, Rogets Kagura dance will be performed. By 10 p.m., I summon you to, the to an honorable assembly at the designated location. During the Kagura performance, the door of the Lunar Eclipse Hall will be closed and no one will be able to enter or exit. Please take note that the Lunar Eclipse is assumed to start at midnight. Furthermore, all in attendance will be presented with a mask at the family head's room, which must be worn at all times. Thank you. Here come the girls! I just hope I can save somewhere. <laughs> Thank you, game. <laughs> that was perfect. There. Do you want anything from the shop? Do I need anything? I have nine of these. 22 of those. I definitely need these. Okay. Oh, that feels good. I feel like that's probably going to be enough. Um, is there anything I can upgrade? Blue crystal wise? I have 17. No, I didn't find anything. Okay, let's do it. We have one of the hardest fights coming up. You'll see, you'll see why. I can hear a noise from the other side of the door. Is that music? If you want to call it that. Big area, big rope. So cool. Check. Okay. Just wanted to check if the settings were correct. Okay. Is that the Kagura stage? I also forgot. I actually use I actually use a different capture card for old games. I forgot I do that. Works better. Is that a camera? So is this where they This must be that camera angle from which they shot the dance. Yeah. Cool. It's still here. Okay, let's go check out the stage. That's it. 
But she was watching this though. When did they take her? Was she taken down in the commotion? Oh, I don't think she was actually here. She's just seeing this flashback. That oof. Oh my god. That ringing. There she is. Oh god. Oh god, I tried to hit the girl. Oh, I did! Ooh. I used the lens. Fuck yeah, I killed her! Okay, good. Just gotta keep moving. Got her. Nice, that's two. Please count. What oh, did it count? I'm not sure. I need to one yeah, that have their hands sticking out. Okay. There. Nope. They faked out. Ah! Underground! They didn't fake out. I wait too long with those. Ah, oh, that didn't count. Ah! The underground ones are the ones that always get me. I always forget to look. Uh, not this. This. And this. I'll just do two. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I think I got her. Okay. Next one. Nice. Nice. I think that's the last one. Oh, there's two. There's five girls, so it's a lot to deal with. Here she comes. Got her. Lens. Dead. Okay. Uh, where you at? Ah! Damn it! Always gets me. Got you. Lens. Bam! Oh my god. Yes. I knew I had to like, start out really strong and just like, kick the shit out of them. <laughs> and then, uh, cause it's six, you're fighting six ghosts at the same time. It's so many. But I did it. That was good. I didn't get too hurt either. Yeah, so they were dancing. During that dancing, she was taken away. She must have been dancing for a long time then, though. Because they need to set all of that up. And I think they dance at the same time. I 
And there they are. Oh, that was the mask. Okay. Which way do I go? I guess the door is back that way, but check this corner. Just make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, there's a door here. Can I take it? Oh. Did it. That was... I think that's the hardest fight in the game. There's just a lot going on all at the same time. You just need to make sure you keep moving. <gasps> Type 0 film! Ooh. Is there a doll back there? Oh no, it's just a wall. I thought I saw something. We're getting big boy film now. Oh yeah, you just gotta keep moving and as soon as you really get one, like in the chain fatal frame moment, then you just like throw your lenses at them. Really do some damage. And then you're good. Oh, 30 crystals. Yes! Let's go, Duka! What should I do? The spirit power is definitely nice, but I don't feel like I'm short on it. Let's just do a reload. Okay. Now we gotta get a ton of points, so. Uh, a ton of crystals. So we won't be able to upgrade. Oh. Ooh. He said, You will be a Kanade for the ceremony of passage. So this is where he took me. Big door. For a second I was like, how did we get here again? And then I realized it's the... So the hospital has a tunnel that connects to a cave system that connects to this section. I always forget how to take this one. It's always a tricky one. I think it is the face, though. I can't tell. Item here too. Origin of the antechamber. If, if that's how you pronounce that. In the antechamber during the ceremony of passage, the shrine maiden is united with the mask. Before praying at the altar, she must sit wearing the mask and listen to the lunar melody. She must become one with the mask. The Kanade must become one with the masks. The lunar melody must be played from above the altar. Only those who became one with the mask shall stride majestically from the altar to the hall beneath. Let's check this out. Something like a panel is attached to the altar. Stagnant air flows from behind the altar. Okay. Well, can I leave? Okay, I need to check out the other rooms.
There we go. We haven't been this way yet, I think. Turn back, Father Shadow. In front of me, was that my father? I think we have to do this one. It sucks, but... It's so cool! <laughs> I know it's there and I just have to do it. I think I could take her though. Jesus! Came out of nowhere. I don't see her, but camera does. Take that! Nice, almost got her. I don't see her. Did that work? It did. Okay. Bye, lady. <sighs> I, I know that- I was already thinking of that lantern way back, but- Oh! There's a doll. But I was just like, yeah, you gotta do it. You gotta show it. It's such a good scare. Halls almost look burned. They're so dark, grimy. Where? Oh, there. So sneaky. If it didn't have the chime, I would have just walked straight by that. background noises. Oh! That's us. Girl suffering on the altar. Dolls hiding here? Oh, yep. Yeah. I don't remember, but does the doll counter continue on New Game Plus? Or is it just one playthrough? You can get them all. I don't remember. A female mask is enshrined in the altar, which is carved with clouded moon patterns. Serves as the white mask has cracked like broken clay. Hall of the Conscious Mind. For the mask of the person becoming an Utsuwa vessel, having budded must be harvested and used. The face must be enshrined overnight in the Hall of the Conscious Mind to be purified by the moon. Face is then used within a handcrafted mask after it has been peeled and tanned. The moonlight eradicates the impurities. That doesn't make a lot of sense. It's locked. 
My father was always in here. This is where he was working. Still locked. <laughs> the memory didn't unlock it. So, should we check down the hall? There he goes! The festival is finally starting. I have to prepare the mask. Where's dad going? Oh, I knew it. I knew it had to be on the floor. Thirty crystals, hell yeah. We're getting so many now. That's how you know you're in end game stuff, because the game is just throwing so many sh so much shit at you. It's being like upgrade. You gotta upgrade. So we're behind on absorb. But we only need one more power upgrade for 70. So we need 90 crystals. Uh, and Probably like 110 or more, 120, to do everything. But this, this final boss isn't too bad. I think this is one of the easiest in the game. Well, Fatal Frame 1 is also really easy. I think they're kind of similar, 1 and 4. All connected. Oh, was that it? Oh, that was it. <gasps> the moon is almost gone. We're so far into the game. I think it's only three chapters left now. Yeah. And the next one is pretty short, I think. So we're gonna just add that to this one. Kirishima investigated the hospital knowing that illegal, inhumane, inhumane? Yeah. medical practices are occurring. Hospital director Shigato Haibara used the inpatients as guinea pigs in experiments. His son, Yo, cooperated with him in doing this. What is the reason for Shigato Haibara's obsession with treating Lunasidata syndrome? Well, his wife died because of it and his daughter was sick. So he was getting desperate. The island's ritual, the Koge, Rogetsu Kagura, the Kogetsu Ragura, <laughs> seems to be a hint the Kagura dance and Luna Sadata seem tied together, and Haibara and his son believe that its mask and music were a possible treatment. The data also coincides with the day of the kidnapping ten years ago, the night of the Kagura. What does this strange coincidence mean? And a picture painted by a mysterious artist and inpatient. Who is that woman depicted in it? Well, you're about to find out, Kirishima. Lingering cherry blossom. No! Uh, picture. Did that work? Yeah. Ah, the courtyard. Something appeared. The scene. It looks familiar. Two years after the festival, I followed Haibara and returned to this island. I saw that woman, and then after that, I can't remember. There's something here. Something blue. Magaki's work note. Artist in this room. Magaki. 
The vision has bestowed work after work upon me. From my point of view, the vision only increases the beauty of the end product. This work depicts innocent, foolish girls asking for help without even knowing a crime has been committed. Five young girls who seek the light, mixed relief and despair, held back by the weight of the act committed by that beautiful girl. It is appropriate to call this work an embodiment of my vis vision. And now my vision spreads wide and infinite, and there is nothing. This vision shows me relief in the form of a remedy for blooming, which shall be delivered by extinction. This island will bloom in confusion and be exquisitely eradicated. Everything impure shall bloom. Stop and look upon the bloomed woman, the beautiful destruction pouring from that face. Faceless, bloomed destruction. I was born. This is a very important document for me. Um, we'll get into, de into the details later when it's permitted story-wise, but I definitely want you guys to remember this, what he says, that the vision is relief delivered by d extinction. So he thinks dying would be a mercy, basically. I have, I have a theory. Did I get him? Yes. He's entering the gallery. He said, my sister. Nesa. Nice, gazing at picture. Why are you looking at, bro? There's something here, too. I'll just get this first. Oh, it's a diary. Is this Haibara's? How long will my sister continue to sleep? I have done everything I can to cure my sister. My hands are tainted with illegal experiments. The ceremony of passage caused the forbidden day without suffering. However, after the ceremony failed, my sister was left both dead and alive, in a way. Why was the ceremony of passage not enough? Why did I come here? What did I come here for? Maybe it would be easier if I could just forget it all. This picture is hope. My sister will awaken. The other picture is ominous and frightening, but I feel calm when I stand in front of this painting. My sister will wake up one day, for sure. So, this is where his sister is in a coma. Yeah, the ceremony of passage caused a forbidden day without suffering. So, this is now... Like, I think we already knew, but this is official confirmation that the ritual they were trying to do failed. And, um, she ended up in, like, a coma. Doga no gets a whole basement. Okay. I know where that is. We're finally going into that door that, uh, we peeked at as Ruka. The key to the building's basement, where the woman in the painting came from. The basement. What's down there? There's something else here. What is it? How do I get it? Is it behind the? Oh! I forgot. The wheelchair. No. Is it behind it? I want it. I think there's two things. Can I just look at the painting, maybe? Mm. I think it's just... I just need to examine this. These five girls. Similar to the scene I saw in the basement of the Haibara Hospital. Yep. They were all standing in a line. How do I check my handbook, notebook again? Here. Yo, Haibara. Medical homicides, an attempt to find a cure for Sakaya. So yeah, they were killing people in experiments. Is Haibara deeply attached to his family? Was a cure found? Yuko Magaki. Painter. Advanced Luna Sedata, impossible to treat. Hallucinations, amnesia. Apparently, Yuko is an alias. His real name is unknown. Paintings are prophetic. Huh. I didn't know that wasn't his real name. 
Painting Magaki did bears a strange similarity to the incident that occurred during the previous ceremony. The vision, is it, a, is it a prediction or a dream? Connection between the kidnapping and the ritual? Haibara's older sister. Was Sakuya the woman dressed in red? No one remembers anything. Further than the red dress, even me. I don't remember. Precisely at that time when I crossed to the island in pursuit of Yo Haibara, when I searched for Haibara, I saw a woman in red in the courtyard of Rogetsu Hall. Oh, right. I was overwhelmed by fear of that woman. She connected to the people and that disappeared. His timeline is always a little bit confusing. Attached to Haibara Hospital, Rogetsu Hall. A sanatorium built in luxurious style. Heavily decorated with traditional carvings, it looked like a hotel. Said that those hospitalized at Dogets Hall are relatively rich. Those who have a special connection to the director admit it as well. It was built after tearing down the old Dogets Hall, which was an inn. The nearby shrine was also torn down to make room. Huh. Hmm. Oh. Did the ceremony of passage fail because somehow Haibara's sister was both dead and alive, deep in sleep? Was Haibara hiding on the island, waiting for her sister to awaken? Mm. Yeah, so... Kirishima has been here... twice before. So he came here looking into the kidnapping, and then he found the girls, and then he came back here much later, because he was tr still trying to find and arrest Yo Haibara for everything that he did. So. So that means that Sakuya was asleep for two years between the ritual failing and her waking up finally. I think, if I understand it correctly. Oh god, there she is! Please don't fight me. She noticed me. Nah. Okay. Ooh. Oh god. She got me. Ooh. Oh. Aggressive. Goes on something behind. Kagedi Sendo. The sunlight was strong. When she appeared, I was standing on the courtyard veranda. She came upstairs. The air in the courtyard stopped moving. She had no face. That faceless person was the walking dead. She looked at a man in the garden, and the man's face was destroyed. The faces of people that looked at her face were destroyed. As if it were nothing, that woman went into the hall, and it started. Since I was born dead, it was my first feeling of elation. It started. It was like going somewhere far away. It made me feel young again. On today's walk, I might go somewhere far away. Maybe I can finally go to the beach again. God. She is so weird. Did I get this one already? I'm assuming I did. Because there's no chime playing. Okay, so we got the key to the basement. Let's head that way. We could go through the courtyard since we got that as well when we checked out the painting. So sad this game's coming to an end. <laughs> Only two more episodes after this, I think. But then we can get ready for five though. That is really fun. That is exciting. I really hope they can get enough interest with five to make six. I really hope so. And then after that, all we need is a new Silent Hill game that's actually decent. And then our lives are complete. The end. Okay. Here we go. The dreaded courtyard. <laughs> We're back.
Is it this item again? I think I already have a... Yeah. Stone mirror. So many people. There she comes. So Karishima was actually in this core charge when she came up. We're gonna have to fight. Oh god. Oh, wrong one. I need this one! Ah! Oh god, Jesus. Okay, scary, scary. Do I have. Oh, oh I have three. Oh god, okay. Go, go, go. Ha! Okay. We gotta keep our distance and just keep punching the shit out of her with our flashlight. Ooh. I forget which. Oh! I forget which lens is the good one. Which one is the one where it does extra damage? Let's take that one out so I don't confuse them. Okay. And then heal, and then we'll get back into it. Okay. Is she there? Where is she? Okay. Next one is gonna be... Can't see! Oh god, I can't see anything. That was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. I hit her! Okay. I did it! Let's get the fuck out of here. Ugh. We're getting to that basement. Whether you like it or not, Sakya. Oh yeah, I forgot. Her name is so pretty. Sakya. The blooming night. Or blooms at night. Pretty. We're here now, right? There we go. I should definitely get some healing items, though. Next time I can save. Wait, there's something here?
it. Oh god. Okay, yeah. It's just a bug. I remember. The sound playing is a bug. Uh, duty nurses note three. Okay, let me just. I'll read that later. Duty nurse note three. Duty no nurse three. Someone hide in there? Ugh. Creepy. Duty nurse note three. There we go. Now I can read it in silence. A while ago, when I was taking a nap, I had a dream about the door, standing before the door with her enclosed with her enclosed within a comatose state, as if she wasn't alive. Suddenly I heard something and strained my ears. I heard something faintly. The sound of the wind? Breathing? It's different. She's singing. Suddenly I noticed the dull, creaking sound of the door. The patient inside the door is in a coma, meant to be on the verge of death, but still. Ah. Oh. While the heaven heavily shut door opens like screaming, the groaning increases. I see. I thought I saw a small gap in the door. The eyes, stagnant red eyes. What? I don't understand. What is that face? What is that? So that was the nurse who was sitting there on duty when it happened. There's one here. Where is it? Oh, there. That's a sneaky one. There you go. We use the key, we're in. Alter two cells. Oh, there she is waking up. Very good posture, straight back. She got some good core strength on her. Ah, oh. Kirishima-san. Ah, Sayaka. Sayaka-san, doushi. Sono kamen no kakera o. It's so sad because when we see Sayaka in the cutscenes, she's in bed, like she's on her deathbed basically, and now seeing her apparition here means that she died while Duka was probably on this island. She didn't make it. She told me, Sayaka told me to give this to Ruka and it would help her. Then we gotta go do that. Handwritten memo. The moon reflected. Quiet, deep forest. There is nothing. I see you. Oh, there's a ton of items around here. be a written thing right yeah morning shrine guard node preparations to carve the mask were made but the head won't wouldn't give his permission in case of budding the body shall be treated as follows face shall be cut and shall be taken off without the face there is no blooming this oral tradition must be adhered to yes there is still breath 
While there is still a breath, no cutting must be carried out. But can you really call this woman alive? There, must, there is almost no breathing, and the air around the woman seems freezing cold. The atmosphere itself seems to freeze. A burning fills her room, but the incense is useless. The body has been lying like this for far too long. The faces of the dying should be cut off. She is not allowed to be touched or called by name, but that just increases my uneasiness. That woman's face must be cut. Will I be able to resist that impulse? Ugh. So stuck to his traditions and customs. One blue crystal. Wow. Thick lattice door is tightly shut. Impossible to get inside. From the other side of the lattice, the faint smell of mildew and chemicals is present. And a doll somewhere. Oh. It was purple just now. There we go. So, Saika appeared, asked us to give this piece of mask to Ruka, and that she'll be where we found her. So that is in the cave. Um, so I just need to figure out how to get there. First, I'm gonna get out of this basement. I think the sound is still here. Yeah, That's just a bug. She's not actually here. Has to load for a long time. Oh, there she is, though. Now she's here for real. I think what was supposed to happen is that you were supposed to. Oh, God. Where is she? I don't see her. Just go. Oh, she was right next to me. I could see the. Oh god, she's right there. I can't go out. I have to wait for her to move again. Oh god, I guess I'm going this way now. Just go. Anything. Anywhere. Hopefully she doesn't follow. Oh, I feel like she's right here. Go, 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 dude. You gotta go. Come on, Sayaka. Uh, Sakya, how long are you gonna follow me? Don't be here. I don't know where she is. I said she's ahead of me, but... Oh, there she is. Come on, how long are you gonna follow me? Go, go, go. Just gotta head out, dude. Oh, thank god it opens. Please don't be here. Oh, thank god. Okay, so we're out of the basement. I might save. I need to get to the cave. Oh, I guess I should just go here. Oh, oh dude, you scared me. Oh. Yo, Haibara. You scared the shit out of me, dude. Oh, I thought I was locked for a second. Okay. Oh, that was intense. Excuse me? I think this is an extra dude. I think it doesn't- the door isn't locked. Yeah. They might follow me though. But I think I just gotta take the elevator? Oh! A phone call. I'm coming! 
Just hold on. One second, please. I need to come from really far. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Sure did. I want us to be here anyway. Let's save. Uh, and I need to get stuff from the shop. Uh, let's go to the cave. Okay, let's see what happens. Such a good uh Okay. Triple shot, yeah. Double shot. Got him. Oh. Oh god. Ooh. Nope. Shit, he's doing it again. I gotta move. Back it up. Nice. Okay, time for this one. Oh, I can't use it yet. Oh, my energy is empty. Ah! I gotta wait. I gotta recover. Ah! Okay. Got a little bit back. Okay, that did that one. I gotta get more energy. He doesn't seem to do much, at least. I don't know if being close to him helps. Kind of like treating it like a shotgun. <laughs> hey, don't hit me. Ah, still hit me. Okay, now I can do a power shot. Let's do it. Hell yeah. You think you can sneak up behind me? I can do it again. Let's take another power shot. Oh shit. Max shot. Be careful, I'm almost out of energy again. Oh. Huh. 
Oh, dude. You are a toughie. Now I'm starting to really notice that the camera or the flashlight isn't upgraded. Got him. Oh. Did it, but he sees young Duca. So they did actually interact. But for some reason, time is warped. Where? I think we just have to get out at the first floor. It'll be explained. So we did what Sayaka asked of us. Oh, it's taking us automatically. Hmm. So he's talking about the two years. Oh. Let's end this. He's talking about the two years that I spent chasing him, trying to arrest him. Playing tag. So let's see what he has to say. I got him. It's all gonna end, is what he said. Nani mo kamo awari da. I don't think I need to save. He said, including me. Everything will end, including me. As in yo, me referring to himself. I mean. We're on the roof. That's where we woke up when we started playing, remember? She's like, now you know, I'm here, bruh. No, oh, that face kills me every time. Ugh, that soft smile that is like, oh, I'm dead. 
It's like sad, but at the same time he's like, Oh, Sayaka, we did it. We helped Ruka. Oh my god, that breaks my heart every time. He's my favorite story arc. Like, it's the first time in Fatal Frame in the series that we're actually playing as a ghost, but we just don't know it until the very end. You know how every Fatal Frame has that ghost that helps you out? Like, Fatal Frame 1 has the little girl in the kimono, the... Well, okay, we're going into spoiler territory for the other games because I'm assuming you've seen 1, 2, and 3 now, okay? So 1 has the small little girl, ghost girl, that is a part of Kiria's soul that is helping us out. Um, in 2, we have the white-haired guy who's in the cell. Who helps us out in 3? Does anyone help us out? Oh, yeah, 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 the little um, shrine maiden girl. One of the impaling girls, because she's the one who brings the dude into the shrine when she's not allowed to. Because uh, it was like her brother or something. And then this one has Kirishima, but we just didn't know it and we just kept playing. Until at the end you find out that we were the ghost, the helping ghost for this part. His whole story is that he's a cop. And he came here to investigate the kidnapping of the girls. He found them in that cave uh, under the moon light from the well and ever since then he's been trying to catch Yo Haibara because he's wanted for crimes in the mainland but also the experiments that they did on the island etc then two years later uh, correct me if I'm wrong I think this is the story then two years later since the ritual went wrong with uh, Sakuya she's been in a coma for two years Haibara has been with her on the island just waiting basically for her to wake up maybe during that, he goes to the main line a couple times. Um, but at least two years from that, two years from that point, um, Kirishima thinks that he'll find him on the island, goes around to look, and then uh, he does find him, chases him to the roof. Haibara stabs him, knowing that he'll die probably anyway, and probably from anger from searching for him for so long and him escaping him every time he pushes him off the roof with him and then dies there so he also sees Sakuya wake up on the in that courtyard so I think that happens confusion all around the island everyone's running around getting scared he sees Haibara chases him and then dies so he doesn't die from Sakuya or seeing her he just dies from falling off the roof and being stabbed so the reason he is here is because Duka's mother uh, has, I think she has like powers because they mentioned that she's from a special family, um, the Yomotsuki family. She either has powers that she can call a Kirishima into existence and help them out, or she also could have already died and as a spirit called Kirishima to, Kirishima to help out. So it's either either one of those, either she called him while she was still alive and about to die, or she died and then called him. And then, so the spirits of Duka's mother and Kirishima are helping her succeed in this island, on this island. Um, but yeah, that reveal, because it's so telling when you start playing as him, like the very first time he's just lying on the floor and you're like, that's weird. Like, why isn't he standing like all the other characters that just like... When you start playing, you know, they're just like standing looking at the house or they're at the entrance. Um, and he starts lying on the floor because that's where he died. That's like his last... Uh, the last point he was when he was still alive. Um, so when you go back and you watch it, you're like, Oh, this is so obvious now thinking about it. But um, And then, of course, that chapter right before with Duka getting the mask from him and it's like why is he like in a shadow he seems to be in a different like dimension but he manages to give her the mask and then you're like wait but we haven't played that yet and then the next chapter comes and it's like oh it all comes together it's so good I'm rambling now I'm going on for really long but I just want to take moments because that is one of the best character arcs it's so good and then his face at the end when he realizes that he's dead when he's like, oh, but at least I'm with Sayaka. It's so like, he's like sad, but happy at the same time. It's like the perfect face. Ah, <sighs> it's so good. I think that's why um, 
Fatal Frame 4 is so high on my list. I think After One 4 is my favorite be solely because Kirishima is just so cool and so cool to play as a ghost. But yeah, that was this episode. We're, up, we're really nearing the end. It's going to be one or two more episodes and then the series is going to be done and then we're ready for Fatal Frame 5. So I hope you guys liked it. Definitely let me know what you thought of this chapter in the comments. I'll be there reading them. And I'll see you guys soon with another part. Thanks so much for watching.